everyone welcome back to another video today we're going to be going over some server commands for your server and for the console aka also the server what i'm going to do first is boot into our example server yeah sorry i have to quickly find it first bug back here yeah all right Wait for it to load in. All right, the first command we're gonna be using is the slash admin command. Now, if you're not admin on your own server yet, what you wanna do is, you wanna bring over the console, and you wanna type in admin space layer name. You don't have to type out the whole name if it's only you. It will detect that it's only you. Now that that's done, this adds the player to the list of users allowed to use the admin commands in the chat, such as uh, slash give or slash teleport or whatever. We'll get to those commands later. The next command would be admin. So you just type this into the console and you will see all of the admins. You can also type this in game and look in the console, but it just makes more sense. And uh, next command will be airdrop. You uh, can do this one. Hold on. Let's stupid you can do this one in game or in the console so what you want to do is type in slash airdrop that's a drop uh very tired airdrop now it says in the console it says successfully set airdrop now we will look for our airdrop I'll be well on the way Yeah, I hear it. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, you can can call in airdrops this way. So that's quite useful. The next command would be slash ban command. Now, what this does is pretty obvious. You can ban a player. We'll type ban. We'll just type uh, Joe, and then you can type slash reason. Uh, passwords if you'd like uh, slash duration if you do not specify duration you will be permanently banned and you can do that the console says fail to find anyone called Joe yes because there is no one called Joe sorry it's not banned forever if you leave it blank it's one year and then uh, you can do in the console again you can do oh, we have to go up bands and then you'll see all the bands listed in this case there are none the next command would be uh day what this does is quite obvious it turns the game time to day or you can also do slash night which turns it night pretty cool the next command would be experience now this gives you in-game experience uh, which you can use to level up these skills you can do a max number of 10,000 like uh, from my experience at least and it didn't work maybe I spelled it wrong why is it not work oh it's because cheats are not enabled uh, Fun fact, you need to enable cheats in your command.dat file for all of these commands to work, as I've just discovered again. Uh, fair enough. Ah, the next command is uh, probably the most useful one. The slash give command. What we're going to do here is slash give, and then uh, <laughs> give, and then uh, item IDs. I, uh, I'll leave a list in the description for uh, ID lists. And then we're gonna type the ID, of course. Uh, for example, I know a bunch of IDs out of my head, and Eagle Fire would be four. Slash how many you want. So we're just gonna type one. And the, ah, cheats are disabled again. Okay. To enable cheats, you would go to uh, open Steam. If you're having trouble with this, that is. Go to dedicated server properties, uh, browse local files servers sample 
server commands dot dat type in cheats enabled hit control s that and that and restart your server it'll close that is here we are we're gonna restart our server now it should be, yep it says successfully enabled cheats now we wait for that and while the game's busy not responding yeah there we are uh we'll go over some other commands that you can type into the commands.dat file such as such as name space uh, whatever you want to call the server call it test uh rem mind you you cannot put anything less than four characters it will not work and uh yeah go over those other commands now go back into the server all right now we are not admin again so we're gonna quickly have to do that again all right and this window resizing thing is garbage Okay, now we're going to go over the experience command, which obviously adds experience. Now you'll be able to level up all of these skills as much as you want. Well, the max they can go, of course. Then next we're going to go over the give command, which is obviously the one where you give yourself an item space item id slash how many you want under the eagle fires in this case you have your under the eagle fires the max you can spawn of an item is uh 300 i think All right the next one we'll go over would be uh slash kick and kick a player well, it's the same as the band command where you type in slash reason. You can say uh, test for this matter. Fail to find anyone called Joe, obviously. Uh, the slash kill command can be used to kill any player in the game. For example, warp. And it kills the player. The next command would be the reputation command now for that we're going to type in reputation plus 100 1000 100, and you'll see that orb reaper paragon 1000 the next command is the slash save command what this does is it saves the server state for a later use. The slash shutdown command is used to shut down the server. If I do that now, you won't be able to showcase this. The slash slay command bans and kills a player. Uh, one year, obviously. And that in slash slay, go. And then it will say file to find, fail to find anyone called Joe. The slash spy command can be used to spy on people. Now if you press escape you can tap this thing and basically have a live video feed of the player. You can also have the option to kill plus ban them. The next command is the slash teleport command. And this one's a fun one because you just type slash teleport. And then the location of the name on the uh, the name of the location on the map where you want to teleport. For example, Summerside. You don't have to type out the whole name. Get the uh, fix up. As you, as you can see there, a lot of zombies and stuff. Cool. Next command would be the slash unadmin command. Uh, 
go, obviously, and on admins them if they're admined. The unban command is tricky because you need to use the Steam ID. So if you ban someone, there will be a little ID in the console. In this case, it will uh, be where I connected because I didn't ban anyone. You want to use this ID to uh, unban people. You will type slash unban space their Steam ID. The next command is a slash vehicle command. It works the same as the slash give command. It gives you a vehicle. Uh, space vehicle ID. Just type a random four, I guess. In this case, you cannot spawn how many you like. You need to spawn them one at a time. Uh, because uh, otherwise there would be chaos. No one there. The next command is a slash weather command. Or you can uh, turn it to storm. And it should turn it into a storm now. If we are... Uh, maybe I have the storm thing disabled. Oh no, no I don't. Yeah, and then it starts raining. Next command. Yeah, that, that would be, that will conclude all of our commands for this video. Sorry for uh, constant confusion and stuff. I'm very tired. <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing for more videos. I promise they'll be better. <laughs> but yeah, see ya.